Before we get into the video today, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Gnostic TV. Gnostic TV is ancient wisdom reimagined. This is a Netflix for those who are spiritually curious and want a place to go where there is no censorship. I personally am doing a whole series on Gnostic TV called the Esoteric Explorer, where I am providing exclusive content to Gnostic. Gnostic TV is a host to all sorts of different content creators, many of whom are your old favorites. If you would like to check out Gnostic TV, there is a link down in the description box below. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. I'm here with my good friends, April and Jay. How are you guys doing? Happy New Year. Happy New, New, New Year. Year. We're so excited to be with you. What a great way to launch the new year than to spend it with you. This Aww. is <laughs> Oh, hey, back at you. Back at you. Well, I've had a really important topic I wanted to talk to you guys about because I'm loving what, what you guys are doing. It kind of goes back to the, what we're doing on Gnostic TV as well as what I've seen you guys doing a lot on your Insta stories. But before we get into that conversation, you guys are kind of rebranding your, your media academy. Do you just want to mention that a little bit before we get into it? love to yeah so it looks like it's me so it's uh <laughs> so anyway so you know, a lot of people already noticed the attracting everyone academy and then we really wanted to put that in perspective that way to really that if people can start to learn the principles of drawing things to them versus trying to chase them so that's really been what it's about but then what we did is we realized that a lot of people were asking about the 5d and there's still a lot of that how do they evolve at a multi-dimensional place so the attracting everyone academy is going to be called the 5d economy okay it's going to be right there it's all about the principles lie the same but it's really going to be in a nutshell it's going to be how to access those downloads how to access that information from that other place if you would let's call it that other place and then bring it down here so we can use it it's like so if you look at it pragmatically this way it's where we get our rules or, or, or our playbook for the day if you would so you go to your 5d you get your playbook and then you come back here and you use it here in 3d it is really what you do and it, it allows you to have a better life but we, we've really broken it down so simple and, and for there's, everybody there's a, a big misconception also like what is people you know what is 5d really we break it down we're breaking everything down everything from 5d to the 12 universal laws to attraction to manifestation to how to create your own 5d economy how to get your business moving so it is really everything it's um for the entrepreneur it's for the mom it's for the single person it's for anybody that wants to elevate their consciousness ex or, or and or expand and grow their brand as well you know bryson since you know you to a been, higher level of consciousness yeah we've been doing those uh training courses on media courses you and i right so we've actually added in the secrets to broadcasting riches in there because we know that that's such a powerful powerful vehicle by ha if they want it um you know it'll be part of the series but it's a powerful vehicle for those who do want to take a you know mock speed this thing you know is yeah. to show them how to awaken their own voice in there so yeah it's it's so important it's i think we are coming out of this er era of feeling enslaved to a system and enslaved to something outside of ourselves and really it's like uh the wizard of oz at the end where she's like you know the power has been wi within you all along it's right. been all along you just you just had to figure that out and i think it's brilliant what you guys are doing because you're taking it in bite-sized chunks so people don't have to it can be overwhelming to think about reprogramming your mind overnight it doesn't yes. happen overnight but just taking bite-sized chunks to start to reprogram the way that you think <laughs> your you know as um you know my my teacher in india especially with things like yoga he'd be like it's it's you controlling your own mind it's you and so when you're moving into this new capacity this new 5d world it's you taking control versus being a slave to and no one wants to be enslaved we didn't come here to be enslaved you know <laughs> we, you know no we want to have control of our own our own lives and our own dharma yeah and, and, you and know, we, you're, you're right i'm i'm glad that you mentioned you know it, obviously it's 2024 now 2024. number eight it is the year mm -hmm. of prosperity 
Um, money year. It is a money year. It is an abundance year. And there's no better time right now to to tap. If you don't already know how to, A, learn how to tap into a higher level of consciousness. And if you're starting to figure it out, to go to the next level of consciousness and so forth and so on. There's just never been a better time. The portals are wide open. The energy is wide open. And as you had mentioned, there has been a great big release of this old energy of this mind control and mind games. And, you know, we were only allowed, uh, we only could, we had tunnel vision for the longest time. Like this was the way that we were, we grew up, you go to school, you listen to your teachers, you go to college and yep. you, you, you be a good student. Right. And it's just not that way. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's just not that way. And we were never taught consciousness. We were never, we were never taught about learning how to look within. Everything was Everything we were taught was all about everything you want is all on the exterior. And Here's the carrot, chase the dangling carrot. The yeah. carrot exactly. Hey, you know, and then also those people are like, if those people that do align with the stars and the energy and the shifts and things like that, there really is scientifically, this is the most time, this is the most opportune time for people to create their wealth, their abundance, and whatever they've been thinking about, whatever they want to put into motion, this this year of money, if you would, abundance. This is the time to do it. So if you're thinking about it and you align with that whole theory of that, I would say don't miss the boat because a lot of, you know, that's your thing. You know what I mean? As far as the stars and whatever. Um, but everything's in our favor right now for, to prosper. We that's just have to make the right thing. Everything's, everything's, everything's on our side right now. We broke down the academy and like you said, Bryce, three to five minute videos. So they're super easy. And the way we did it is we did it in a way where people were to, you know, they go through it at their own pace. And, and the thing is, is, What's really cool about it is there's no there's no start or beginning. It's wherever you're drawn to. You know what I mean? Because we didn't want to be like, you know, like assignments or lesson plans kind of thing. Like that. just go to wherever you're drawn to, right? And so people go there, they'll watch it. And I and I can tell you this from experience. If they if they if you take when you join the academy, if you take two to three of those videos, it's 10 to 12 minutes out of your life and you discipline the that's how you start uh, your day it'll set the intention for your day you're going to see such a massive your life gift. will be different in 30 days you won't recognize yourself in 30 days it's really those kind of simple steps mm -hmm. oh 100 percent. this kind of like as you're saying that like starting the day this kind of leads me and why i wanted you guys to come on and talk about the the main topic it goes with this because it kind of is a key to this whole thing and i will say you guys i'm going to put there um all of uh Jay and April's links in the description box below, but I would highly suggest checking out y'all's Instagram because you're doing kind of like Catherine, our friend Catherine Edwards, you're doing these like many little videos on Instagram and I'm loving them because kind of like your media academy, which guys, those links are in the, those are, links are always in the description box. Um, it's, it's giving people just this bite-sized nugget of information that they can kind of chew on. And I think sometimes, just in my experience of the years I spent studying in India, and sometimes we look at these like big philosophies, which is really what we're talking about, right? Is this, a, this a, the big the big theory of why we're here. Sometimes I feel like people get very overwhelmed by that because they use old words. And that's like Gnostic TV, right? Ancient, what is ancient we knowledge? Reimagined. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So we're taking these ancient theories and philosophies that our ancestors knew and we're putting it into modern, a modern perspective. So it's easy to understand. It's not complicated. It's not as complicated as you think it is. And one of these elements and something I'm so happy you guys were down to do this and something I've noticed being uh, uh, on the, these platforms is there's a lot of people out there kind of teaching this, um, misinformed spirituality where it becomes like something outside of yourself it becomes like this world of, of escapism versus like actually being centered within yourself which i always say spirituality is working on your own spirit and one of the biggest keys i know jay we've talked about this a lot because all three of us are huge fans of exercise yeah. And that's something you guys are showing on your Instagram. You're showing yourself actually working your body. And Hillis and I spoke about this um, the other day for Gnostic TV. And while we're doing like these different exercise videos or practice videos, as I want to call them, is because it's the key, kind of the key to everything. Because within your body, you hold so much information. And when you're boiling, you know, we look at water, we're mostly water and still water gets stagnant and gets gross 
but fresh running water is energetic and moving. And so with with the media course and, and website you guys have and Gnostic TV and your own spiritual lives, as two people who are very physically fit, what start what has the, what has exercise done for you with all manners of your life? I'll take that one real quick first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um it's my form of meditation. I, I am not, I know I never have been, and I'm not against it by any means, because I know it's a really good thing for people to tra traditionally sit there and go into meditation. I tried it for, I mean, uh, countless years. I never, I was always uncomfortable. I never sat right. I'd be fidgety. I couldn't get my mind focused. I'm like, I, I just, this is not working for me. So what I have found is running in particular, running um, is for me, the greatest form of med meditation, because once I start, once I get into that zone and then my, you know, a lot of people may refer to it as a, a runner's high, mm -hmm. but for yep. me, it's like that. Meditation. Yeah. Right. That, that channel immediately starts you to open up uh, my mm -hmm. pineal gland and my mind is clear. It's when I get the best and the most clearest downloads i have ever gotten ever my other best time honestly is when i'm in the bathtub or when i'm in the shower yeah well that's running water right yeah yeah, yeah exactly my mind i'm just relaxed so for me being around the water whether i'm on the beach i'm in the bathtub i'm in the shower or when i'm doing something very active like running i'm in the most relaxed state so i have found you know what? Why don't? Why can't this be my my form of meditation? And that's what I turned it into. You well, know, and, go ahead. And, I was going to say tagging on that too. I mean, I want to agree on that, but I want to go one step further. Living here in the Western world, um, why it's so important. We made a decision to really make this part of our lifestyle. Is we we were we were away. We were um, in the islands probably a few weeks ago, uh, months ago, but. The, the things we ingest here, what flies over us, what we eat, what we drink, it it, it totally affects us. And and, I, and yeah. this is such a real thing because when you go overseas or you go to different parts of the world that don't have that, these people are so tapped in, dialed in, tuned in. I mean, they are they're like they're they're stream of consciousness. I mean, they got it going on, and you could see that here in the West. It, it, nobody, it, it's 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 mass confusion, and I'm not saying the bad way. Look, as we have the good that comes along with living here too. We have our freedoms and all that, but the reality is, is that you got to work this shit out. Yeah, <laughs> and you have yeah, to get it out. I mean, it is it is critical. It's not only because if you don't, you don't know what you're getting. I mean, you know, we 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 have uh, friends of ours that are in the spiritual advising business, and and they're confused because it's like they're just they're just like what what do we do? What do we do? There, it's like a, it's like such a mind screw because. We've got so much of that. So exercise from the pineal gland part of it's great, but also the detox. I mean, I tell you, it's like if mm -hmm. you want a life in this world, you got to move your body. The last you thing, I mean, honestly, right. yeah, yeah, yes, you know, like we you do it because we we do it, but body. people think, oh, you know, well, I exercise. Well, you know, no, people are not exercise junkies. They realize the principles. They'll be like, I don't want to feel like shit all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm I mean? Gonna, yeah, that's your, that's your trade off. Well, there's something you guys don't think. I don't know if you guys know this, but the most ancient form of meditation is is exercise it's called the tristana method and that's what we're taught in india and my teacher is very against seated meditation very against it you don't do that if you are a westerner if you are a householder if you live in the world you do not do seated meditation it will cause psychosis and neurosis you have to move your body so the whole point of of, of that philosophy yes and so he's very against it actually my boyfriend whom whom um jay and april know was a huge, um, he would sit, he would do his yoga practice and he would sit for like two hours a day. And it, he ended up, it ended up putting him in a place where he was escaping his life, where things were not getting taken care of. So he was using it as, a, as an escapism. Now he does no seated meditation. He wrote an article a few years ago about the dangers of seated meditation and that people mm -hmm. were using it as an escapism versus what Medita meditation is mental focus it means it means um it means to contemplate on one singular focus and so when the mind as my teacher in india says monkey mind monkey mind you know as as our minds are so sporadic and like I, as you said april you're fidgeting your minds constantly especially as women because we're by nature no offense guys and jay we're women are by nature multitaskers right so that's mm -hmm. just so when you're in that run, I love you used running as an example, or you're in the Ashtanga practice, a very focused yoga practice, or you're swimming or doing something, you are using what they call the Tristana method. 
because your eyes are focused because they have to be right absolutely they're not when you're on that long run you're not just you're focused oh, no you're laser focused yeah. right the eyes aren't moving around the breath mm -hmm. is in a rhythm you have a rhythmic breathing yeah. so there's a rhythm which is attached to your nervous system and the body is moving and creating shapes and so the mind is able to come to this one pointed focus where you're totally in the moment you're 100 mm percent -hmm. in that moment and that's where the creation of god is and so and you're so right even so then when you take it a step further like like jay was saying like we have all these we have the we have the physical body and we also have the energetic body which you know you can't see the energetic body you just feel it but every single particle of our of our makeup of our body our organs our fascia our blood is all also mirrored by something energetic and yeah. when the physical body is beat down by toxins bad food you're right we can't escape it in the west it just is what it is but when that is it's going to affect the energetic body as well mm -hmm. and so if you want to heal the energetic body guess what you got to do you got to heal the physical body you and you're, you're right you're not looking for olympiads you know, just going for like a 30 minute walk. Exactly. You just got to move it. I mean, and, and, and I tell you, it's, and any other thing too, is like, if, if there's any, especially as we go through these years, like this, this year of prosperity, this year of money that we're into this, uh, the five D, you know, the whole principle behind that is we can live like gods, mm -hmm. we can live like gods, but to live like gods, you got to, you know, they say stuff like, I don't know, I don't know, you know, worship your temple. Yeah. You know what I mean, and yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying. You got to get that. You got to get your temple tight, so you can so you can really do that. If you, and I think, if people subscribe to any of that nature or any of that belief system, then it's time to apply it. So that's what we're choosing to do because we subscribe to it. So we're saying, well, we got to apply it too. You just we can't talk about it. To it, because very simply, it makes us feel better. Right. Yeah. That is it. Right. If. What we do, because it takes dedication, didn't make us feel better. I would can this. Yeah, it makes us. It does I make feel us like feel better. I'm not doing that. But the end result is so worth it because it makes us feel better. That's why we do it. Oh, absolutely. And it's it's um, you know, it, it even brings energy creates energy. So like like attracts like. And when you're in this in the and when you start your your when you're in the morning, you're taking that run or doing that yoga practice or going on your walk, whatever it is. You're creating energy, which then is going to feed you for the rest of the day. It's going to, and it calms your nervous system down. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but before, you know, before I go on my mat or something, I might feel anxious about something, but when I'm mm -hmm. off my mat, I'm a lot calmer as a person. And when you're calmer as a person, you act better, you behave better, you, you have better karma. You have, right. you know, it, it just everything. And it's interesting that, that too, because we're given this body, this Shakti, as they say in, in Sanskrit, the Shiva, the Shakti, the creation of the soul. And we have all these muscles. We have all these things. And, and we think very practically, yeah, muscles help us walk. They're also, you know, we get them strong in the gym or whatever. But I was thinking too, you know, you think about your beautiful body and, 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 and actually allowing the body to do what it's supposed to do. When you sit around and you don't work it, you're not allowing it to do what it was created to do. The abdominals, when they're strong, they allow your spine to stand up for you to stand up straight. When your legs are strong, you can you can move better. When your arms are strong, you can hold children, you can hug someone. It, it's giving the body that life. And and the Emerald Tablets, you know, Thoth says the only reason why we understand life is because we know death. And so being in that moment with your body and allowing your body just to do what it is supposed to do, where the muscles are supposed to work, they're supposed to hold you up. And they're also supposed to give you information. Have you guys ever been like on a run or in the gym and all of a sudden you're hit with a wave of, of emotion and you don't know where it came from, like anger or yeah. sadness or joy, all of a sudden it just comes flooding out of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. I mean, that's it. You open up those, you open it you up. You open up the floodgates, literally. Um. The other thing that I love, uh, which I had touched on, is I get the best downloads when my mind, when I'm running because my right. mind my mind is clear. That literally becomes an addiction because yeah. when it comes through, when you get that wave of energy and this like the oh my gosh, that is exactly what I need to do. And uh, I literally I'll pull, I'll stop I'll I'll stop running and I'll t I'll go to my text and I'll write myself a text. I'm like that was the best idea I ever got. Click, you know. Yeah. So I I. I I, I'll remember it, but 
the other thing too, when I'm stuck on something and I need a, an answer to something or how do I fix something, I say, I'll say, and Jay does it to me back. I'll be like, listen, let's go for a run so we can figure this out. Got to work it out. And Absolutely. then it's like, all right, clear it out. And then boom, the answer comes. Yeah, you know, Bryce too, it's like a lot of people, they, they, okay. So like this, there's, there's a definitive in our life. It's that we all will experience death, right? But what happens is you got every, it's like people are giving up a lot of times because they're like, ah, you know what? I've turned that corner now. I've just got a few years. And if I make it to this, because my person, my family doesn't have that history to make it to that. So it's a lot of that programming of not learning how to live, but learning how to die. Right. So, so this is, this is what the exercise does. This is what the things that aren't always the easiest things to do, but but I will tell you, it's so rewarding. Like you said, it feels mm -hmm. good. I mean, if you can learn how to live, so so a creator created us, we can agree on that, but maybe didn't give us all the best playbooks. So we got to figure out, you know, a lot of the stuff on our own. And the practical advice seems to be, well, listen, you know, we have nothing to lose by learning how to live and learning how to live to the best. And that's mind, body, spirit, and prosperity. We have everything to lose if we if we're out of alignment with any of those things. So that's how we got to really do it, you know? Well, we say this a lot, Jay. We're, we're spiritual beings here having a human experience. The point is to have that human experience. Spirituality is not escaping the body. Spirituality is being in the body and, and, and understanding that. And you're so, you're so right. You think about like a, the traditional yoga practice, um, there's a lot of interval training. So there's a lot of cardio in the traditional yoga practice. And what does that do? Well, that flushes the blood. What is the blood? It's the it's the expression. It's the Shakti of life force. Your blood is also your sacred DNA. It's what really heals you. So it's flushing it through your system, which is the representation of the energy cycle. So you're giving yourself that life. And when you take in more oxygen, so when you do the cardio and you take in more oxygen, you're able to, to actually expand the lungs, mm -hmm. which right. also gives gives more life and so it's doing nothing and there's also this you know as you guys are saying this because i used to be a long distance runner as well and the one thing i, I tell people in the in the mysore room and and also i remember this running is when you in, in start a, a, an exercise program or workout program you often realize like you're talking about people just kind of giving up that these limitations that you perceive about yourself are only perceptions they're not truth and totally. you so much stronger than you think you are you are so much and, stronger and limitless I, and i'll tell really. you just if this helps people let me tell you my personal workout routine is in my living room yeah and i went to the and i went to the store and i have these bands mm -hmm. and all i do is for the last couple of years all i do is i use these bands they're resistant bands so it's not like i'm sitting there at a gym or having to get dressed up for that i don't feel like I, you know what i mean i'm doing it wherever i feel comfortable so wherever you feel comfortable needs to be their thing you know bryce you and i've talked about a lot there's how many fitness videos are on our youtube you got a gym you got an endless gym just turn on yeah. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what i mean put in what you want to do and focus and do it in your own space and you feel better you'll build your confidence a few minutes a day and you know what um there's a lot to be said also for walking your dogs right. yeah my, oh, absolutely. I honest, yeah i honestly believe when my, my mom and dad got their dog which is we now inherited her but they got they got crystal when they were like in their 80s right and i'm like oh my god you're crazy but my my mom's sister her twin said no 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 actually it's the best thing for her because it's going to force her to walk you're right. It's going to make her get out of the house and walk the dog at least two to three times a day. So it, in essence, it really was truly the best thing because it forced my mom and dad to both get up. And yeah. My mom was always pretty healthy, but it was took it to the next. Like they had to do it now. So and I think, you know, Catherine's really obviously an advocate. She has horses. So, you know, she's always out. In That's the, so cool. Yeah, she's always out in the, <laughs> in, my in horse. the forest. Oh my um, but uh, <laughs> You know, just even getting out of the house a few times a day to walk your animals. The bottom line is you just have to start moving your body every yeah. single solitary day. I personally think one of the keys to longevity, sweat every day. Do so something to break a sweat. So many Everything. people are afraid of sweat. I've had people come into the shower, but they're afraid of sweat. I'm like, that's your body. It's, gonna... it's a detox system. Good. Yes. I'm glad you're sweating. You're detoxing. I know. It's, it's like the best. I, 
I've heard people say that. And I think that's the craziest, strangest thing ever. You have to listen. Those toxins are in you and they have to come out and they're only going to come out one of two or three ways, right? <laughs> so the best and the fastest and the easiest way to release the toxins by your sweat glands. Hey, you know, we, we were in, uh, we were in the islands and, and they have this whole, like, let food be that medicine thing. That's yep. their, that's their thing. And you go to these little offices, but there's like these professional looking offices with natural doctors, mm -hmm. not like the, not like the Western clinics. And a lot of these people, they're like, look, we just don't, we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to live. I mean, look, is anybody even going to ask themselves there and where we live? Like, like why, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why you feel like this? Why you have to take so much stuff to offset so much stuff? I mean, you know, at some point in time, we're going to need to start asking those questions um, of yourself, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, Taking that personal responsibility back. Personal and responsibility. You know, it's interesting. You're talking about dogs. And I have to be careful because my, my little boy is in the next room. But whenever we say, hey, you want to go for a W-A-L-K, they get excited. They get the energy. Oh. They have extra energy. They know what to do. They know to stretch. They know to run. It's not something that they have to think. They're not trying to look good in a bathing suit. They're just ext they're right. kind of extending their energy out. And right. um, it's, you know, one thing I love about India culture is Indians will tell you, just point blank what's up like they're very they don't beat around the bush and there's a veterinarian that we work with in india who helps us rescue dogs like my dog is fr is from india and i love him and there's a sign he has in his clinic that says if your dog is overweight it means you are out of shape mm, that's i true. love it i mm. love it because he's right if, if your dog is overweight you're the problem absolutely the one that's out of shape because mm -hmm. um, animals won't naturally do that themselves they will they they can read their body they know how to do use their energy and um and it's i just i just love it and you're right having that animal i mean our our dog uh he because he is a street dog from india he's he requires about five miles a day for us wow. in order for him because that's his he's from the streets and so his line of dogs are used to just roaming you see them and they just roam all day and so in order for him to be happy we have to provide that to him and it keeps us on our toes and we enjoy it. So, you know, you know what, you just said something so important in order for him to be happy. Um, he needs that exercise. He needs that release. Our one dog, Luigi is exactly the same way. If for whatever reason we don't give him his full walk, he gets ornery. Yeah. And oh. he's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna let you he know gives that you the too. Paw, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Robbie, Robbie gets depressed. Like I can see him. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. You know, if, if you don't take him out, and uh, we we went, we yes. were hiking all weekend this weekend, so he's he's very very much exhausted today from being out in the woods. But just the smile on his face, and if we take that. I think, you know, the controllers of the world know secrets that we're just now relearning. And I think part of what they knew was that this is a key element to to being spiritually and in line and healthy aligned. And they kind of turned the and made it a thing about vanity, which, of course, it feels good to, to look good. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like if people change that perspective from exercising to look good or to punish yourself to actually discovering yourself, actually mm -hmm. growing within your body, realizing your are what what it, what I mean, what does it feel like, guys, when, when you first started running and you didn't think you could do X amount of miles and then one day you did more than what you thought you could do and you didn't die, but you thrived yeah. in it. You know, I mean, I'm a, I'm an ex smoker, you know, oh, I get yeah. there and, and I tell you, I mean, and, and literally, and I tell people, I'm like, they're like, well, how do I start running? I'm like, run like you just freaking got out of like a, like you got out of rehab or something and take little steps. I mean, and then you get faster and you get faster. Don't, don't feel like, I think, and I see this a lot of people with people starting to exercise, they go right in and they go like yeah, they're zero no. to hundred. Don't That's do that. Thing. That's the worst thing. Yeah. It's going to, it's going to make you want to not do it. Go baby steps. That's why maybe try it in your home if you're trying it for first so you can, if, you, if you're conscious about what other people are going to think, but go super slow. Even if it's, even if it's like a tenth of a, a, a bit faster than what you normally do, then you'll get it more. And the next day's more and you build, it's just, you got to build up that endurance. I was all it never um, into running. I actually hated it. Like in school, the thought of a track. Oh, <laughs> ain't no way I'm doing that. For, for, I didn't start running till I was 25. And the reason I even started it, because I, I never enjoyed it. I, I, I didn't, I couldn't get my, the, the breathing down right. I always had cramps and it never was working. But I 
was forcing myself to want to learn how to do it properly because I kept hearing people talk about this runner's high. Yeah. And I wanted to experience what that was all about because when people would talk about it, they would talk about it like they would go oh, in this. Wonderful. Yeah. They would feel like leave their body. And so <laughs> I was determined to reach that level of to get this runner's high because I wanted that experience. So the way that I started was exactly how Jay said it. I would, I, I used to not be able to run one block. I couldn't even get to the top of the block. Yeah. So I would maybe walk half the block and then run the other half of the block. And then be like, okay, I'm done with that. But then the next day I would just try to go a little bit further and try to go a little bit further. And then once you pick up the, once you start to get the uh, amount, you like you're going longer and longer and longer, then pick up your pace. Yes. Then yeah. To go a little bit quicker. Yeah. And then before you know it, you're like, I got it. And then you. I've done it. I've yeah. done it. It's and and I I remember um my first ten k I ever did back and I I don't do road races anymore but those are fun when you do road races they're fun they're people in a good mood but I remember somebody saying right before I did my first ten k it was this woman that my mother had known she'd gone through a divorce she'd had a lot of hard things happen and she said after I went through this divorce and went through this really hard time I decided to sign up for the Peachtree Road Race which is the biggest ten k in the world it happens right out here Fourth of July and she said after my first ten k when I cross that finish finish line I realized if I can do that. That, I can do anything. You can do anything. It's but, really so symbolic, yeah. you know, and that's so yes. true about that. That's uh, that's the other thing that exercise teaches you. It's very symbolic of life because mm -hmm. yeah. like that, there's that point where you want to give up, and then you realize, well, if I give up, that keeps where I'm at. But if I push through, I, you're right that you can push through everything. It's very symbolic. Mm -hmm. That's know? there was a Muhammad Ali quote, and I can't. I'm going to paraphrase it exactly how he said it, but he said, "Real training begins the minute I want to quit." That's when the real training begins, right? Because that's, and that's, you know, we say that in yoga when, when it's hard and it's tough and you're sweating and all these emotions are coming up and you stay with it and you lean into it and you just go a little bit longer, it starts to unfold in your life and you start to be able to make those changes to be able to face things in your life. And that's part of that meditation too, is like realizing instead of trying to escape something or disassociate for something, you kind of lean into a little bit and you work through it. And then there's wisdom in that, fr there's friction there. So there's wisdom there that you gain. And I, you know, speaking of that, like, I'm so happy you guys. And I, you know, exercise is the root word of exorcism. So if you think about it that way, you're removing your shadow Spell, side. You're yeah. working through the darkness, not just the detoxing of the, the chemicals, but like the darkness that's within you, your own shadow side, you're confronting it, which is the most powerful side of you when you're able to bring, you know, the hips. The hips are the biggest joint in the body and they carry the most energetically. So people have very tight hips, not because of the physical world, but because of holding emotion. So when you start to run, or start to do hip openers and you're moving that that ball in that socket and things start to come loose and you're confronted with emotions usually it's not memories but an emotion and you allow yourself a moment to step to the side of the road or sit in your corner and just cry for a moment and let it go all of a sudden you've lost the weight of that shadow you've lost the the the, the extra poundage there that's uh, maybe literally but figuratively kind of holding you back emotionally because you just you just detoxed it and that is, and that's the biggest secret. Secret. You look at all the ancient yoga texts. You look at the al al the mystery schools of Egypt. Everything they did from the beginning all the way to the top was they required their their initiates to have an exercise program every day. An exercise program from the very beginning all the way up to master level. They had to get up in the morning during Brahma Morta, which is the early morning, and sweat move their body. And that is, I think that's because it brings you to yourself. It just brings you. And with Gnostic TV. We've put like, I think I have, we have three um, different, like, I call them practices because that's what we say in India. It's a practice. It's your prescription. And I have, I actually got, so I did a couple of all levels, but I have, I have been so freaking proud of this person. Like I am just, this person is the, somebody reached out to me and I said, I am morbidly obese. And I know that I cannot do the all level classes that you created, but I want to start somewhere. Can you create a class? And so the last exercise video we put up was a 25 minute. I went and researched it. I looked at how weight affects your joints. I took my, my education and I used that ancient knowledge and I created a 25 minute class for people specifically who are morbidly obese. And I have them in different rounds. That's awesome. such a great service. 
Wow. Well, and that's, but I thank you guys for doing that. That's on Gnostic. And I put it in rounds so that if you're new, you're not going to be able to do the whole 25 minutes. But as April was saying, you can do the first five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, try to do 10 minutes. And for people who have a hard time standing because of their weight, I actually even put a section where you can sit down and you and work your arms just to get that core strength and that arm without putting pressure on your joints. And so with that being said, I, I don't want people to think we're saying like, you have to be an Olympiad. You have to be, no, it doesn't matter where you are. Anywhere is a good place to start. And to start. just got to start. We looked exactly. at ourselves 10 years ago. Oh my gosh. And we look at ourselves now and we are definitely younger now and videos don't lie they just are what they are you know what i mean no we don't even look like the same people yeah yeah we look i'm telling it you it looks like, like these two bodies have been like all right we're gonna take these two bodies off the earth plane and then we're gonna replace them well i even two. said i was like holy shit do you think we walked in <laughs> <laughs> because we don't, we don't look the same we don't yeah we don't we physically don't, look no the we same don't because at all. We've, we've we've changed yeah. our lifestyle too so we had that turning point which you know a lot of people do when they hit that you know that five zero right so the turning point was stay the course <laughs> right and just continue because you know listen there's some good memories when you stay the course that we all know that right but then or you or you you can create new amazing memories you know really redefine yourself and live for what it likes so we just decided to do go that route so i think there's never a uh there's never a start or a finish point or a right or wrong point you're the young lady you mentioned that said it was morbidly obese that asked for help when you're ready to start that is like you should be so proud of yourself and that it's, is leveling up that's leveling uh, up so I got it's emotional when I got yes. when I got that email. I was emotional. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Excuse me, like, "Fuck yeah!" I'll create an exercise for you. Like the yeah. fact that you were brave enough because I know. I mean, I don't know how that. I've never been obese, but I, I know that people get insecure. I know that it's hard on. I understand that. Like you know, it's hard on the joints, and I and you get that, and I get that. I understand the all levels class might be still a little bit too much for you. So totally, I'm here to help. Like, absolutely, I will design multiple exercise videos for people if if you need that. It's as, as Jay says, it's in the comfort of your own home. And I showed in this video, like things that you have around the house you can use for support. So you don't have to have super fancy equipment you can use, you know, for weights. I even said you can use wine bottles. Like you can use- right. whatever. Well, you know, cans of beans doesn't have to say tomato cans. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't it doesn't have to be. I mean, in traditional yoga, we use no props at all. Like it is absolutely no props because they don't want you to they want you to really come into yourself. So, you know, it's it's just and I, I thank you guys for giving me an outlet to be able to take what I spent okay. years in India learning and be able to and do what Gnostic is doing. Take this ancient information. You don't have to go to India and do what I did, like and throw your leg behind your head and learn to catch your ankles in a back bend. You don't have to do that. But I did it. So I can take that information and I can make it more um, accessible to, to you guys. And the fact that Gnostic is such good. I mean, listen, I've spent thousands of dollars on my education. So Gnostic mm -hmm. is so cheap. And these, these videos, you can come back and do them every single day, every single day and see yourself start to change. And hopefully that will give you the confidence that you need to to make those changes interesting you say that too because i was thinking i i you know in my early 20s i lived in la and i definitely lived a very different lifestyle in los angeles but that's important too like that's a part oh, of the yeah. process too because you've experienced right. that you know what it feels like to wake up hungover you know what it feels like to eat crap food and now you know what it's like to feel to do it differently and the feelings that you get and it's people do it. it's a different your body responds accordingly right you know? right you know, it's and then you, you'll, you'll find out too. It'll be good. Like if you're wanting it, you know, I mean, this is the year or this is the time of year, I should say, is when people start to make their changes or start to really impact them. Now, the key is, is that, you know, it's not so much starting them as but sustaining them. Mm -hmm. Right. So just, you know, just if it's helpful, just go and do it, do it. Don't try to go to zero to a thousand. No. Yeah. Just, yeah. just start it and then keep starting it and get better. And disciplines will give you there, you know, get, you got everything to get everything to and get if you can find a partner mm -hmm. journey yeah. with you that makes it so much easier and so much better just i mean even with us you know if there's a point where i'm like oh, they got breaks well uh, yeah exactly i mean in the house or you know like do it now do I'm I'm the play. Do, do it with me <laughs> do the videos together with you you know what i mean um it's it's just good it you know it's good to have that little partner to give you the push be like all right we're ready 
put Bryce on, let's go to it. Yeah, and, and really this this message I would imagine is just for those who want to receive the message. This is not for those who don't. They don't want to receive it, don't receive it, right? I mean, but if you want to receive it, then receive it and know that this is, there you go, you know? Well, and my point too with this whole series is, well, I mean, the Esoteric Explorer series is my baby, like doing the deep dives. I love that weird shit. But doing this, I feel like it's my karmic duty to like, because yeah. we're doing the exercise videos and I'm doing classes where I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys through like Prakriti, nature, Parusha, energy, like how this works in your body so that you have more autonomy so that when you mm -hmm. do do the exercise video, you're not just flapping around, you know, like a flop shop, not knowing, but you have more of an understanding of what's actually happening, not only physically, but spiritually energetically within your body and over time that's going to empower you you know a teacher's job is to teach themselves out of a job you know a cult leader is someone that's always needs to be needed but a teacher's job they say that when the student is ready the teacher appears but when the student is really ready the teacher disappears mm -hmm. and you're right. left with that integration of what you learned and that that independence to be able to make those decisions and I will say, you know, for you guys watching, like if, if that if this is intriguing to you and you've never seen exercise in this way, you've never viewed it this way, first of all, change your perspective and see it as you being, you know, when I'm in a class, when I teach, a, I have a 6.30 a.m. class tomorrow morning, when they're burning and the, the, the windows are steamy because it's so sweaty in that room and I can see the looks on their faces, I always remind them, be here now because this is you feeling alive. Mm. Yeah. in this moment of feeling your muscles burn yes. like enjoy that because that's your life that's your life force right now and um you know we I, you know we spend so much time per trying not to die that we forget to be alive and to enjoy that moment of being in that fire and really taking that power back for ourselves the power that's within your that's been within your muscles and your fascia and your organs all along and i know people i mean you guys look super young i people who exercise always have really pretty skin you know they always glow there's a glow in their eyes you know it just get it out <laughs> yeah you get it out right it changes you don't need yeah. we, that is the med bed you guys like there it is. It is. <laughs> yes. yes, it is. whatever you're taking with it whatever your whatever your jam is but yeah you got to it starts with you and you know what um it's a sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. when you get done it's certainly yoga is a massive sense of accomplishment when you finish it but when i get done a really good workout i'm like ah, good job well, good job job well, well done like you feel you know what I mean? you're like i did it you know and, then for and the those, rest of your day is whether we do it in the morning but it's set the whole morning. rest of our day you know for those of uh, people that are looking at being home-based businesses are starting the, the journey to be self-employed. That's, this is such a, I look, we're entrepreneurs. This is vital to our mm -hmm. business. It's not just the physical, it's vital to our business because we can't make rational decisions or logical, pragmatic decisions or the best decisions if our mind's all funked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, it's all, it's all crazy. You gotta get, you gotta get clear. So I would say for multitude of reasons, number one, obviously is to feel better. If you are looking for prosperity and you want business, I would say it'll give you a clear path. It'll help you make the best decisions because your channel will be right there. You'll get, you're getting direction from whatever you want to call it, guides, higher self, you know, whatever. Right. But you're getting direction there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. One of the one of the courses, too, we do is over the dosha system on, on Gnostic TV um, about food and understanding food is energy as well. And so and I love I want to reiterate something you guys just said, too, like when I, we have new students come in too, because we exercise or practice six days a week. But we've been doing this. I've been doing this for 18 years, you know, and don't ever compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 10. You know, right. I, I, I do this for a living so that I have to maintain a certain level of, of fitness in order to actually oh, yeah. do this. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so I want to, I like how you guys said that when I have new students come in, I say, don't do six days a week in the beginning, you'll kill yourself mm -hmm. Try three days a week. And then at, over a few months, build it up to four. If you're doing the beginner video I created for, you know, if you're, if you're struggling with obesity, try doing five minutes of that video three times a week in the beginning. That's it. And then once you've accomplished that, you're right, April, once you have that accomplishment, you can then step it up in a, a journey of a thousand miles start, starts with one singular step, right? You know, right. It's, it's if you're going to train to run a marathon, you're not just going to decide tomorrow to go run 26 miles, right? You're going right. to go through a process to learn. My, my brother-in-law is a marathon runner to like learn how to do that. And so give yourself that grace 
to learn how to give yourself grace to to make mistakes in extra. I mean, my teacher David Greer, we were laughing. He's originally, you know, he's in Philadelphia, so I would fly to Philadelphia a lot. And the Ashtanga practice, the traditional practice, is very challenging. It's you know, leg behind the head, catching. It's very intense. Um, a lot of sweat. And everybody comes out of the shala looking like Albert Einstein with their hair <laughs> out. <laughs> but he used to, you know, I learned so much from him because he would, I would watch him teach. And he would get these like 20 something year old girls who had been cheerleaders or gymnasts. And they were already pretty able bodied because they had been training in athletics for so long. And that wasn't super interesting to him. But when he had like a 60 year old man walk in who was overweight and who couldn't touch his toes he would get so excited. It makes me emotional. He would get so excited because he would say, now we have something to work with. Now there's something, there's a resistance that we can actually work with. Mm -hmm. And so all these obstacles, so if you are obese or if you do have some issues, don't see it as an, as an obstacle. See it as a blessing that you have something to work with, right? Because as you keep going and those obstacles start to go away, you have to start looking for challenges. You have to start looking for the wobbly bits. You have to start, you know, to continue to create that friction. And so be in that place of you be like, you know what? I'm overweight, but at least I have something to work with now, you know? And, and David, I had a guy that I used to practice with that was an amputee. He had a, a fake leg and he had had this le fake leg for years. So he could practice perfectly well with it. But when David walked in and saw that guy for the first time, he got so excited because he had never taught somebody. And so it was a new challenge, you know, to figure out how to, and so see yourself in that way. Cause that's, that's what they're not obstacles or puzzles and, and puzzles can be solved, you know? And so, and so it's, um, and I thank you guys again for giving, um, agnostic TV, giving people this opportunity to kind of like have a place to go. For oh, of course. Yeah, it's our, it's sure. our honor. Yeah. It's kind of like our feel like we want to, you know, look again, all those years of all those lifetimes of learning knowledge, it just has to be reinterpreted. You know, what you're doing is just mm -hmm. so critical and just such a blessing to the network, the energy. So thank you for that. Right back oh, at you. you. And, uh, you know, we, we, we just hope and pray like everything else, like people will, you know, we can lend some value and help ha help have people have a better have a better life, existence. Better existence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, no judgment. Do what you're gonna do. All we can do is give insight and say, look, this is helping our lives become easier or better. And take what you want and throw the rest away. No Absolutely. judgment. And yeah, like I said, I had to get on an airplane and go to India multiple times. It's been a long time in India to learn this stuff. So I'm glad to be able to bring it through you guys, um, through Gnostic. And and I will say too, just a little spoiler, I spoke because I was you know, I was very tempted to not put traditional yoga on NAS because traditional yoga is so detail oriented. I didn't want people getting hurt mostly. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, the, what I put on there was it was was safe for people. But I had a lot of requests for it. So I've spoken to three friends of mine, two two students and a fellow teacher. And I'm going to be eventually, we're trying to work out a date. I'm going to film the first quarter primary series of Yoga Chikitsa, physical therapy of the traditional yoga system with the, I'm going to teach it so I can use them. They're going to show different levels of how to modify. Oh, one's going to so do, awesome. Yeah. One's going to do full on. One's going to show wow. modification. One's going to show like if you have an injury, you know, how to work with an injury. So um, I was just texting with them to film just the quarter primary series and then we'll build up so that people can actually experience traditional yoga um, through Gnostic and, and hopefully a very safe way through seeing the different different levels that you can do to to build your strength and stuff. So, and I thank you guys again. Yeah, so cool. Oh, that's that so fantastic. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. I'm really, y'all hear a lot more Sanskrit <laughs> coming through that. Oh, great. Yoga. So, um, so yeah, and that's, and, and you guys, like I said, please check that out on Gnostic TV. The link is down below and it's always in the description box. It's the esoteric health and wellness because esoteric, this is esoteric knowledge and it's Absolutely. for your health and wellness. And obviously I have the um, esoteric explorer series and April came up with that title, you guys, because to keep it different from esoteric Atlanta, where I have exclusive, which I thank you guys for that. Super perfect. <laughs> it's perfect because listen, there are so many deep dives. I can't do on YouTube anymore. Right. Yeah. Because Big Brother is watching. And so to be able to take that exclusive content and put it on a network, and my boyfriend brought this up too, what's really cool about Gnostic, especially for us creators, is as April and Jay know, being on YouTube, it's very pernickety. Like, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You put all this work yeah. up. And yeah. you don't know, it's like playing, it's, it's like unnerving. It's unnerving. It's like playing Monopoly with a four-year-old. They're constantly changing right. the rules on you so that they win. 
And so you do all this work, this years of works, and potentially could wake up tomorrow and it's all gone. And it's so that's happened to us and so many others like that. And you so know, many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why we decided to do it too. We're like, look, we can rebuild back on YouTube or censorship, or that's but that's building on shaky ground. The mm -hmm. four year old you're playing Monopoly with, right? So yeah. we just decided that's not just a good move. And you know, and a lot of, and, and look, all and a lot of these other companies, people think, well, you know they're they're immune to censorship no it's it, you're, you're only as immune as the person that wants to censor you and the amount of the, the money that they're paying these people and say look we'll buy you out go away you know and those right. are real life these are real life things happening with a lot of these places so you know same things happening on starting to happen on rumble which was a safe backup for us but now we're starting to hear whispers that rumble's gonna start buying out to people that are going to require certain things not be talked about and so it's it's fun to be able to actually speak the first video i shot for gnostic where i had some words that i usually censor on youtube i, I felt weird i was like oh wait i can actually say this word like i'm like gnostic. i can actually say this word so so i think you guys there's a lot of really refreshing cool people. it's refreshing to be able to yeah. be like this is the truth this i mean i just covered um for gnostic um on the exoteric explorer series i covered a case out of kentucky that I thought was literally just going to be like an alien case. And it wasn't, it got way deep with like the controllers and all that kind of stuff. And it felt so good to be able to literally say, this is what the research is. This is what we're finding. This is who's involved. This is what they're doing and not have to worry about getting a strike, getting, you know, getting so, so I would ab absolutely say you guys, it's, it's amazing for us to have a platform to have our work up and know that it's going to be safe. It's just going to be, it's going to be there. And so again, you guys, both the, the Academy, the, um, and the Gnostic TV, both links are down in the description box below, below this video. And if you go under show notes, I'm going to have all the links to April and Jay, all their platforms. I, I love, again, I love y'all, like y'all's Instagram reels, the quick ones showing you guys in the gym like that yeah. is so inspiring. And so, um, so I would highly suggest you guys make sure you follow them on everything. Is there any parting words you guys want to say to the, to our friends? I'd love to just quickly say, start enjoying your life. And if something's not working out, get rid of it. Try <laughs> something new. Listen, we said mentioned earlier, uh, 2024 is an eight. It's the year of prosperity. But you know what? Put all that aside. It's the year of yes. Yeah. Start saying yes to things. If you just start saying yes to things more frequently, your life's going to start to blossom. And you could start shifting it in the way that you want it to go. Enjoy it. Have fun. Don't take the shit so seriously. Relax and have a good time. It's about the fun, right? Just have a good time. So Let it roll. I would say, you know, if Happy New Year brings you hope and existence and, and, and a feeling of like, hey, I can do something, then start changing Happy New Year to Happy New Day and do yeah. it every day instead of waiting for one damn day a year to, make, to get that feeling. You know what I mean? Do it every day. Give yourself a Happy New Day every single day. You know, every single day, it, it'll just, it, it's all of this is just reprogramming our subconscious. Oh, mental. It, you know what I mean? Oh, it's yeah. just reprogramming it. So do what you got to do to do it. Uh, Bryce, thanks as always. Thanks for your energy. Thank you so thanks much. For the Thank network. you. Thank you. Business. I love it. I, what, what, I will end on what you said. I laugh because I had a friend that said once, she goes, I don't know if I'm getting more enlightened by my yoga practice or if I'm too damn exhausted to care. I like to care about the petty stuff. <laughs> so it's like you said, not taking things so seriously. Exercise will make you like not care anymore. You might just be exhausted, totally. but regardless, yes. you kind of take. I just thought that was the funniest thing because I don't know if I'm just too exhausted to care. Like <laughs> so, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And likewise. And any questions you have or any suggestions that you want for me to create if there's something an exercise you want me to create for you i'm here at your service i have the education to do it if you don't want to comment it if you want to keep it private you can email me at gnostic tv bryce at gmail.com and i i'll keep it private so if you want to renee i understand that and just let me know what your concerns are or what you want to see and i can work on that for you so so just let me know and um and yeah all right, you guys. Well, we'll see you guys over on Gnostic then. So <laughs> much love. Much love, guys. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.